How are you today? I'm doing great, and how are you? Good. Are you ready for your 73 questions? I'm ready. All right, so for those of you, those who don't know you, what is your name? My name is David Levy. And what is your specialty? I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist. So those that are unfamiliar with the term, what is a radiologist and what do you do? Radiologist is a doctor who interprets medical images and also uses medical imaging to help with minimally invasive treatments or biopsies or the like. Okay, so how many years have you been practicing? I graduated fellowship in 2010, so this is my 13th year with AMI. Okay, and where did you go to undergraduate school? I went to the University of Michigan. How about medical school? Jefferson Medical College. Did you take any gap years between medical school? I did. I took two years between college and medical school and did a post back because I had to figure out I wanted to be a doctor. Oh, okay. Uh, what was your favorite part about medical school? Um, I loved a lot of medical school. I liked the camaraderie. It's a smaller class. I really enjoyed getting to know my classmates and I really enjoyed the subject matter and the whole process on the way to become a doctor. Now, what was your least favorite part of it? Whew. Least favorite part was probably studying for the boards. Now, did you always want to be a radiologist or were you thinking of another specialty before? No, good question. So, I think when you're in medical school, you kind of toy with the idea of multiple different specialties. Um, and for me, I kind of narrowed it down to two or three. I was deciding between being a cardiologist, which my brother is, uh, an ophthalmologist and a radiologist. And um, after, you know, a little bit of time, I ruled out um, ophthalmology and cardiology. I just figured my mom already had one cardiologist in the family, so I needed to choose something different. Now, did you always want to be a doctor? No, I did not. Um, when I was in college, I uh, thought I would possibly go to law school. Um, and after I, or towards the end of my senior year of college, realized it's something that I probably didn't want to do, and so I shifted gears. Okay, so for those interested in being a musculoskeletal radiologist, how many years of schooling did it take you? Oh, long time. So it's uh, four years of college, then it's uh, another four years of medical school, then it's a one-year internship, then it's a four-year residency, and then a one-year fellowship. Wow. How does it feel to be part of Atlantic Medical Imaging? It feels great. Um, I, it was really just uh, good fortune that I um, came here to interview. It was uh, a connection. Actually, my, my father-in-law um, was his, my father-in-law worked out at a gym with Mitch Brazell, who is one of our senior partners, uh, his father-in-law, and they just got to talking and uh, it was recommended to me that I should come and visit uh, AMI, and as soon as I interviewed here, I knew it was the right fit for me. Great. Uh, what would you say is the most unique part of your specialty? I think in radiology, you can have as much or little patient contact as possible. What I really like about musculoskeletal radiology is the blend. So I'm able to um, give a diagnosis to our referring orthopedist or, or family medicine doctor, let's say if I have a knee MRI that I'm reading, but I'm also able to um, give some therapies, whether it's a steroid injection, whether it's a minimally invasive ultrasound guided procedure. So I like the mix. I like that I have patient contact. I get to do musculoskeletal ultrasound. Um, and I also like that I get to make diagnoses and tell the patient and tell the referring doctor exactly what's wrong. So now for students who are in medical school right now, why should they choose radiology? Oh, that's easy. It's the best field in medicine. Um, seriously, for, for the reasons I kind of mentioned, you can have, you know, you are able to, you know, render a, a final diagnosis, really help the referring physician. You can um, take care of patients. Uh, you can become a vascular interventional radiologist where all you're doing is procedures and some really, really cool stuff, whether it's um, doing interventional oncology procedures or vascular procedures. So there's such a good mix of what you can do. And the technology is so amazing. It's constantly changing. So I love it. All right. What are some of the misconceptions or stereotypes about radiologists? Oh, there's a, there's a few. I'd say the, the 
biggest one is that all we do is sit in the dark room all day. Um, and there are certainly parts of the day where we're sitting in a dark room. We need the room to be dark so that we can see the images properly. That's why the room's dark, not just because we like to hide in a dark room. But um, I think that is probably the biggest misconception. Okay. Now, on an average day, how many patients do you see? So I would say um, I physically interact with anywhere from between five to 10 patients on a, on a daily basis. In terms of how many patients I'm uh, taking care of, I would say that's more in the range of, you know, let's say 35 to 40 between reading their imaging and, and doing any procedures or, or um, diagnostic ultrasound, for example. Now, how many studies do you read on an average each day? Ooh. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the complexity of the of the studies. It depends on what rotation I'm on. I would say again, somewhere in that range, that that 40 range. If um, it could be higher, it could be lower. If I'm on a rotation where all I'm doing is reading X-rays, that's going to be in the hundreds because X-rays are um, quicker to read than an MRI, for example. Now I know you have a dual role with us. You're both our CEO and a practicing radiologist. What is the favorite part of your job? I love my job. I, I'm really fortunate to be able to wear both hats. Um, I try to do both as well as possible, and I like the variety. I really like the challenges of, um, of, you know, the, that the business uh, brings. Um, I like to be involved on the business end of things. Uh, we have such a great team, like you, um, that are, you know, that are that that I'm a part of, and I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. And I really enjoy um, practicing radiology. So I think, and I think the two go well together. So I think because I'm a practicing radiologist, I can, um, I have, um, you know, an expertise or an advantage that I can bring to management. Um, and I think I'm able to see things as a radiologist and, you know, boots on the ground that I wouldn't if I, you know, weren't involved in my position as CEO. Definitely a great blend. Um, how many hours in a day do you normally work? Uh, depends. If you ask my wife, she would say probably um, too many. You know, it, it varies. I would say on average probably 11, 12. Now with that schedule, what time do you normally wake up? I wake up at 6.15. And what time should you wake up today? I woke up at 6.15. Very good. Like clockwork. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, what is one of the most common questions a patient would ask you? Um, I think the most common question I would get is if I'm going over a case with a patient, they would say, what does this mean? So as doctors, we need to always remember that patients don't speak in medical lingo and we have to be able to explain to them in a way um, that communicates exactly what's going on and uh, what you know what the next step is going to be for them so I would say you know what does this mean what does it mean for me is, is probably the most common or most common questions I get now are there any questions that you think patients should ask but they don't ask you um oh that's a good one um let me come back to that one okay do you work more during the day or at night I work more during the day. Uh, what is a unique medical fact that you'll never forget? A unique medical fact that I'll never forget. Um, let me come back to it. Okay, what is the most common medical advice you would give a patient? Uh, what is the most common medical advice I would give to a patient would probably be uh, you know, it's, I think it's sort of obvious, but just needs to be stated to just live a healthy lifestyle, um, right? Good sleep, healthy diet, exercise. It sounds simple, but it's the truth. Now, did anything surprise you about your specialty once you started working as a radiologist? Um, yeah, I guess the breadth of knowledge you, you need to obtain and uh, consistently um, learn even when you're out of fellowship the you know field of radiology is changing so quickly and there are so many subspecialties in radiology so 
just um, how much information there really is and how current you have to stay in order to be on top of your game. Okay, now, now that we've gotten to know you professionally, let's talk about you personally. What is your favorite thing to do when you're not working? To spend time with my family. Very good. Uh, does your family member ask you random medical questions? All the time. And I always have to remind them, you know, I think any in, in many different fields or specialties in medicine, I can jump in and get to the answer or kind of, you know, dig something up in the recess of my, of my brain and figure out what the answer is or look it up. But, you know, unless you are practicing that specialty, it's very hard to be an expert in everything. And so I have to just remind them that, you know, I'm a radiologist and I can help you in a lot of areas of radiology, but I'm probably not going to be your go-to if you have a question about, you know, neurosurgery. Okay, got it. Now, other than a dog or a cat, what is your favorite animal? Oh, a dolphin. And your favorite color? Blue. How about your favorite purchase? My favorite purchase? Ooh. Um, I got a really nice pickleball paddle recently, which I love. So I'd say probably my new pickleball paddle. Now, is there any purchase that you regret making? Sure. Um, an overpriced sport jacket that I bought earlier this year that, you know, as I was buying it, it was one of those purchases where you just knew you were overpaying a little bit. I liked it, but so I think I regret that one a little. How about your favorite hobby? Oof. Um, right now it's pickleball. I'm, I have to admit I've, I've got the bug. Um, I also love playing guitar. Those two probably. Okay. Do you collect anything? Um, no, not really. Not really much of a collector. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Now, if you had the opportunity to have dinner with anybody in the world, past or present, who would it be? Oof. So many good choices. I'm a big Warren Buffett fan, so I would love to have dinner with Warren Buffett. Um, and Abraham Lincoln would have to be up there. Um, I don't know. Those two. And what do you think you would eat? What do you think, what meal would be served? I, I love burgers, so I'd probably go with bacon cheeseburger or something of the like. Okay, coffee, tea, soda, or water? Uh, water, I'm not a coffee drinker. I do occasionally drink green tea. I try not to drink soda, but occasionally, a few times a year, I love a Dr. Brown's black cherry or a nice um, ice cold Coca-Cola. All right. Uh, what is your favorite lunch while you're at work? Wawa chicken strips. Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? No. What is your favorite meal to eat? Uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I think I eat like an, like an eight-year-old. So a lot of, you know, hamburgers, chicken strips or chicken nuggets. Um, I do like a good salad. So I do like a good salad. I guess those are kind of three of them. Or steak. Okay. I do like a steak. Okay. What are your top three places to travel? Top three places to travel that I've been to? I would say Italy would certainly be uh, up there. Um, recently went to South Africa, which was really special. and loved that. And um, I guess Hawaii. Is there one place that you haven't gone yet that you would like to travel to? Japan. In your mind, I know you're a radiologist, but what is your dream career? Uh, general manager for the New York Knicks. How do you relax after a work day? Spend time with my family, um, hang out with my dog, um, have dinner, drinks with, with friends. Now, do you prefer nights in or nights out? I prefer nights out. I do like to, to go out, grab dinner, see friends, have a drink. Beach or lake? Beach. What's your favorite month of the year? July. And do you like hot weather or cold weather? Hot weather. What is your favorite sport to watch? Now, I know this is probably going to be tough for you. Ooh. 
I'm a big sports fan. Um, like a lot of sports, probably uh, football, professional football. And who's College your, is second. Who's your favorite team? Sorry, everyone. New York Giants. Walking or running? Running. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. Is this why you chose your specialty? No, although again, that's a misconception. I find I love the people I work with and I find I have so much contact with our different technologists, our fellow radiologists and, and staff and everyone here. And um, I think it suits me really well. Um, so. Can you share one fun fact about yourself? <sighs> oh boy. Um, Yes, I have the same exact name as my first cousin. So my name is David Andre Levy, and my first cousin is also named David Andre Levy. Well, I don't want to get into the reasons why, but we have the exact same name. Interesting at family yes, it events. Is. Yeah. That'll be another video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what did you want to be when you were a kid? Uh, sports announcer. Is there a different specialty you think you would have done? Um... I think I would have liked a few other specialties. I think ophthalmology, cardiology, um, anesthesiology come to mind. Okay, if you had one superpower for 24 hours, what would it be? Uh, to fly. Now, would you change anything about your journey through medical school? No. What is one piece of advice that someone gave you that has stayed with you? Um, so my father always taught me that um, the sun's gonna come up tomorrow and as cliche as it sounds, it's really true. You can have the worst day um, and the world can seem, you know, really bleak or against you and you just gotta go to bed, shake it off and wake up the next day and get back at it. If you could change one thing about the medical field, what would it be? Um, all of the red tape and bureaucracy um, there's a lot for patients to get through, to have, um, you know, an imaging study done or um, approval for surgery. Um, so probably would try to decrease some of that red tape. All right. For students that are currently in medical school that are preparing for your specialty, what is some advice you would give them? Just be prepared and excited to learn for your entire career. Um, you don't need to know everything, uh, you know, uh, day one of residency or, you know, at the end of your fellowship, it's not gonna be possible. Do your the best job you can and just be prepared for a lifetime of continuous learning. Right, and lastly, what would you say to your current and future patients? Um, I would say that um, I, and I, mean this honestly that you're really fortunate to um, be at Atlantic Medical Imaging with the incredible team that we have that cares about you, um, all my colleagues uh, that you know are helping to take care of you. Everybody cares so much and it's a really really special place and um, I'm lucky to be here and I think so are you. All right. Well thank, thank you. you. Thank you Carl. Very fun talking to you. Same. Thank you.